Uh, that's less than 15 seconds, I think. So I shouldn't get any copyright police. Hello, folks, it's review time. And my goodness, it's Friday already. I still remark, at, even at my age, at how quickly time seems to pass anymore. Just before you know it, the day is gone. Anyway, I'm here for another review. I have lots to talk about in general, but I want to just focus on this review, on this video. I'll be back. I just received the latest release from Mez Gacano, an Italian composer instrumentalist. Now, I'm not sure how you're supposed to say the title of this record. Asako Vano Bobo Intriguing cup of coffee and with reflection in the coffee. Mez is the real deal. Mez is an Italian composer, multi-instrumentalist who um, sent me a a while back, um, one of his releases. This is truly, I'm, I want to get this out because I like the presentation throughout the uh, focus on art and uh, layers of texture and stuff. This is truly progressive music now, not prog rock, not pretend Prague, Prague, which I don't mind some of that, but it's, this is truly the continuation of um, a long line of amazing um, music that continues to try to push things. Um, rock in opposition, as a touch point comes to mind, Frank Zappa definitely comes to mind as a touch point. But I hear these other elements. Oh, this Mez also sent me a piece of original art inside of the uh, package. I haven't met Mez like some of the other folks I talk about, but he feels like a wonderful person, and it, it, he feels like a real friend. Like if I could get over to Italy, I would play with him. I would play music with him, absolutely. That was the one thing I wanted to, a couple things I wanted to say. So he has a couple pieces pieces on here that are classical, where it's strings. Um, it's a string quart. It's a I don't know if it's a quartet, but it's a group of string players realizing his composition. And I happen to understand how difficult it can be to get folks to um, realize correctly compositions. I think that Gaz uh, Gaz. It says a lot about him that he has musicians who are dedicated enough to learn his stuff, practice it, and get it right and play it. Uh, you can hear it on here. The music is just really very intense. There's even a punk energy to it that I like, an edginess. His guitar playing in particular. He's very, he's very skilled, but there's an edge to it. Like, um, I don't speak Italian, it's all in Italian. But I get a sense that it's 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 kind of like uh, somehow put, putting up a mirror to what's going on, and not necessarily being happy with things, but more like well, hmm, what goes on here? Um, like I said, I don't speak Italian, but there's something about the way this is put together that Mez's spirit comes through. It seems to be very questing, open. Um, very vibrant and alive. He seems like he'd be a real interesting cat to get to hang around with. The other thing I noticed is I had I had to listen to this all the way through before I could speak because it really is surprisingly varied. It goes from this stuff where you hear hints of things like Henry Cow or Art Zoid or Mothers of Invention then the next thing you know, after a classical piece where it's violins and cellos and stuff, the next thing is it's electronic. I mean, pure electronic. Like, 
with a like a electronic beat and everything. I think this is fascinating. I think it's fantastic. I think that it's also very human in that you can hear some um, warts and stuff. Where you know what I mean? You can hear a couple notes that are maybe a little, a little sharp, which makes it even that more wonderful. Um, I want to highly recommend this to people who can consider themselves uh, lovers of of progressive, of music that is of the now. I, I recommend this for people who want to hear something different. I recommend this to really all of you. And I'm really honored, and this is just such a bucket list wonderful thing, that people like this are my friends. Mez feels like a friend. Just like the, all the folks in the Muffins Mono Mirage group, I just got the Illegal Aliens um, CD. I'll talk about this later. Dave never wants me to specifically review these. But this music is so important to me, um, literally, you know, in my history. I love this. They, they uh, didn't put out junk. And it's that's perfect because it's perfect. I'm, it goes along perfect. As I'm reading, I'm almost done with this book. It's fantastic. Paul Sears, Angels and Demons. If you see this, Paul, I tried to um, write, leave a review for you on Amazon, and they told me that I couldn't. What's going on in this world? But Mez, wow, you're something else, my friend. Folks, find out about this. Buy it. <laughs> 